Let's see how well this Best Arc 50 amp CNC plasma cutter cuts on 110 volts. All right, so on 110, you got this pigtail right here. You go from 220 to 110, this adapter, so we can plug it in, a standard outlet. All right, so here's the settings on 110 volts. I'll tell you right there, 110, we got 15 amps up to 35 amps. Then we got our PSI right here. All right, 16th inch, 16 gauge. Let's see how it cuts. Cut that 16 gauge, no problem. All right, let's try some eighth inch 11 gauge. Air compressor kicked on. All right, there we go. We got a pretty clean cut, pretty clean kerf. Not much dross on there. 25 amps on the machine. We got 24.71 amps on the meter. So it's putting out good current. That's good, you know. It's putting out what it says on the machine. So I was cutting at about 25 amps. Um, you don't want to turn these machines up too high on 110 or else they will trip the breaker. It doesn't trip the breaker on 25 amps, but you know, if you get a big cut and you're on 35, you know, you can trip the breaker with these on 110. All right, we got some quarter inch right here. Let's see how it does. I got it set to about 30 amps so it doesn't trip the breaker. go all right let's see how the cuts looking oh yeah that's a nice clean cut look at that 30 on the machine 27.66 on the meter so it cuts well on 110 volts 16 gauge it cut it easy zipped right through it uh, 11 gauge which is eighth inch thick you know cut that no problem then we got up to quarter inch was the max i tested with this and it cut that too we had to go a little bit slower but it got it cut this machine on 110 volts, I'd recommend cutting up to quarter inch max. If you got a bunch of thinner steel you need to cut, it'll cut it all day long. Later.